The Indian rupee has hit a record low. It closed at 83.95 per US dollar. So what does a falling rupee mean for you? To answer this, we must first ask, what do we really mean by a fall in the rupee? We mean a fall in its ability to buy the US dollar. Today you need to spend 83.95 Indian rupees to buy a US dollar. Not too long ago, you could buy a US dollar for 83.8 Indian rupees. If the rupee continues falling, you would need to spend an even higher amount to buy the dollar. Earlier, the $100 product you could buy for 8,380 rupees. You will now have to spend 8,390 rupees for it. When you look at this on a macro scale, the fall in rupee adds to inflation because crude oil becomes more expensive. This increases transportation cost, which ultimately impacts prices starting with your vegetables, fruits. They all become more expensive. Same with imported goods. The likes of your phones, laptops. When the value of the rupee falls, businesses spend more to import these electronic items and they pass on that cost to you. In short, a fall in the rupee impacts your household budget. Also, if you're traveling abroad, your budget goes for a toss because chances are you will be carrying US dollars with you. Now, when you go to get your Forex, you will have to spend more in order to get your desired amount of dollars. The same is the case when students paying tuition fee of a foreign university. All in all, a falling rupee is not good news for you, which is why we must ask, why is the rupee falling? because of the bloodbath in global and Indian stocks. Asian currencies have weakened. Malaysian Rigan, for example, has dropped 1%. There are fears of a looming recession in the United States. The American job data does not look bright. We told you about it yesterday. There's also tensions, concerns about a widening war in West Asia. These factors combined have spooked investors. They are now selling stocks. All of this is contributing to the fall in rupee. Next question. Will this trend continue? Chances are it will. At least so believe the experts. Barclays predicted the rupee to decline to 83, pardon me, that's 83.85 per dollar. Morgan Stanley predicts that the rupee will fall to 85.2 for a dollar in one year. So what should you do in the face of a falling rupee? Revisit your budget. If possible, cut down on discretionary spending. Also, if you can, look at items whose prices are rising. Try and substitute them. That said, you must keep in mind that despite headlines of a falling rupee, you need not panic. The Indian rupee has remained one of the world's most stable currencies. India's central bank has kept a tight rein on the rupee and the Reserve Bank of India is likely to intervene in order to stop a sharp dip. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.